Packet people, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you back, and guess what? Today, I'm excited to have you because we have a special guest here on the channel. We have the man, the one, the only, the original Packet Head himself, Mr. Gerald Combs, has stopped by the channel to say hello to us and tell us about some new stuff he's working on. So, hey, Gerald, welcome to the channel. Well, hey, Chris, it's great to be here, and it's great to be among the Packet people. I mean, that's kind of where I live every day, so... <laughs> It feels it feels natural, yeah. Absolutely, you're the original packet head. So you know, actually, I kind of feel weird wearing this shirt. You know, I got you know, I gotta send you one of these. That would be great. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna send him a packet head shirt, and we're gonna get him back, and he can show us a bit more about deep diving into packets. But today, I understand, Gerald, we're not here necessarily to talk about packets. We're here to talk about something else. We understand that recently there has been a new release of a companion to Wireshark, where the Wireshark family is growing. Wireshark now has a sibling. So what do you have to tell us? Well, uh, something I've been working on in my day job for a while now is something called Stratoshark. It, like you said, it's a sibling application to Wireshark. And instead of looking at network packets and focusing on those, it lets you look at system calls uh, the, you know, that happen inside an operating system and log messages and, and, and analyze systems at a very deep level, much as you would analyze a network at a very deep level. That's awesome. That sounds great. Actually, super interesting because if I'm understanding you correctly, just even as a packet analyst, something that we all do here, packet people, there's a point that we have a blind spot to once a packet goes into a system, or if we're waiting for a response from a system, that's always been a bit of a uh, dark spot for us in our visibility, but now you're saying we have access even into the system calls and logs. That's exactly right. I mean, in, in, much in the way that packets kind of define a network and de define the, the behavior of that system, system calls kind of de define the behavior of an operating system. And so when you can, can effectively tap those and pull those into an, an analysis tool, you, know, you have a, a very powerful thing for looking at problems and, and troubleshooting and, and looking at security issues and things like that. Okay, great. So Stratoshark is what you're yes. calling it, right? So yeah. can I just ask you real quick, how, how did the name, how did you come up with that name? We actually went through a series of names. Well, Cloud Shark is already taken. That's uh, um, by a great group of people. But, you know, one of the names was Log Wolf and, Log, you know, another name was Log Ray. And, um, you know, this was the name we, we kind of finally arrived at and, 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 when you think about it, you know, it, it Stratoshark operates at a very high level, you know, looking at your system and, and maybe up in the cloud. And, and so, you know, that, that was the, the name we finally ended up going with. And the marketing team where I work uh, came up with a great logo. And I'm excited, you know, it, it, the more I work on this and the more I pull this artwork together, which is what I'm working in, on right now, the, the more excited I'm getting about the project. That's great, Gerald. Well, hey, it's exciting. So, congratulations. So, Stratoshark. It kind of makes me think. Okay, you've got some. You've got clouds, but you've got a stratosphere. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Let's let's do the stratosphere visibility. And Shark is a strong brand. Uh, we've mentioned that before on the channel too. I mean, Wire Shark. So, Wire Shark, Strato Shark. So, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Now, to to help us understand a little bit more about how Stratoshark works and where it fits in a system, you also mentioned this image here. Now, could you just talk us through this as well? Sure. Um, Sysdict, the command line tool, and Falco and Stratoshark, they all three use a, a couple of libraries, much like Wireshark uses libpcap. Um, these applications use libscap and libsimps to capture system calls and to enrich that data and, and to analyze them. Um, if you look at a Linux system, there are a whole bunch of processes running, and in or anything useful that they do, they do through the system call interface. So you can, if you can capture those system calls, you can get a really good idea of how those applications are behaving. And that's what libscap does. Libscap does it either through a kernel module or an EPBF probe. Um, from there, libscap hands those uh, events up to libsimps, which adds extra information. And from there, tools like the Sysdig command line tool and Falco and Stratoshark can can then do their thing, you know, either alert you or show you what's going on or let you do deep analysis. Now, we all want to get our hands on this. So first of all, where do we go to get it? You can get it at the same place you get Wireshark from the Wireshark website. Uh, we will provide a URL uh, so that everybody here can can go check it out if they want. All right. You hear that, everybody? You can just 
click the link in the description down below. And I think, Gerald, you mentioned as well, there's like a demo file that they can download and play along with. That's true. And that's they will want to do that because one of the things to keep in mind about Stratoshark is that you can only do local capture on Linux right now. Uh, you, you can't capture system calls on macOS or on Windows, unfortunately, although that's certainly something we have that we're thinking about and something that, that we intend to do. That sounds good. So do you just want to show us just the splash screen? Just show us a quick intro of what it looks like? Hey, that looks familiar, Gerald. This should look familiar. The thing to keep in mind about Stratoshark is that it, it shares a lot of the code with Wireshark. As, as you said, Chris, this should look familiar. Um, you know, we have a section at the top with a list of capture files, but those aren't network captures. Those are system call captures. And if you look down below, you don't see network interfaces. You see these things called Falco plugins, which will pull log messages. Um, there's also a utility called SSH dig, which will let you pull remote system call captures from a, a Linux system over SSH. Uh, the Linux system has to be running the Sysdig CLI tool, but that's an easy thing to install. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a capture file. And again, this should look familiar. I'll that does ahead. look familiar, Gerald. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it <laughs> something that we already know a bit about. Now, I know there's a, there's a lot to unpack here, everybody. So if you're looking at Gerald's screen and you're feeling a little dizzy, don't worry about it. In fact, we're going to be also releasing uh, a walkthrough video where he shows us a bit more about how to dig into this. But right now, he's just showing us the overview. And yes, Gerald, that looks like a fantastic screen right there. Okay, again, this should look familiar, but it should look a little different. If you look at the different columns, there's a process name you know, uh, that says curl because uh, this is a capture of me downloading a file using curl because I lack imagination. But um, these aren't network packets, these are system calls. If I look down here, I can see detailed information about the process. Uh, like you'd see the name is curl. Uh, the art, one of the arguments was to download a, you know, a file from Wireshark.org. Over on the right side of the screen, you have you know, the familiar hex dump pane. And uh, um, how, do, how do your viewers feel about hex dumps? I, I think that there's kind of this point in an analyst career when hex dumps go from being scary to being comforting Very because cool. <laughs> <laughs> because no because the hex the hex dumps are the the source of verifiable truth and and I, I at least find that comforting. I don't know about you, but um, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, that, that's the actual raw data right there on the wire. It is. So I, I agree with you. I think that's a great way to say it. You know what? Com comment below. How do you feel about hex dumps, everybody? <laughs> so, Gerald, thanks for coming on with us. We really appreciate that. There's a lot to unpack on that screen, and you and I are going to continue to do that for the viewers. But anything else you want to tell us about Stratoshark before we wrap up? Just to be, you know, just to set everybody's expectations, we are still in early days, uh, but it also means a couple of things. It means that there's some functionality that functionality that's missing, like local capture on Windows and Mac OS. The, um, there's probably some analysis views that, that are missing that we're going to add over time. But from my perspective, that's really exciting because you know this is like starting out with a fresh new project, and it effectively, effectively is. And all I'm seeing in front of me is just all the great things we're going to develop and add to this. And so, like I said, I'm very excited about that. Very good. Well, we're excited to have you and to see how this product continues to develop. And from the packet head community, we're right here with you and we're here to support it as well. So, hey, everybody. So use those links down in the description down below. Stratoshark is there available for you to download and tinker with. Again, it's doing, so Wireshark on the wire, Stratoshark within that system and getting us access to what used to be a pretty big blind spot for us. Thanks, Gerald, for stopping by, and hopefully we get to see you right back here on another video. Great, Chris. It was great to be here. All right, Gerald. Take care.